Hello, Unstoppable Real Estate Investors. I'm Rayana Starr, and with me is my friend Nathan Payne, a real estate, one of the top five percenters. You know, 95% of people who attempt to be real estate investors fail. And so there are a lot of people out there that are in that top 5% that are just crushing it in the real estate investment industry. And Nathan is one of them. We know each other from, uh, we all, we both run real estate investment groups and we're in a real estate investment admin group network with our friend, Patrick Yepes, and he's gotten us go. all connected. Now we're all podcasting each other and learning from each other and introducing each other to our audiences. So Nathan, why don't you uh, tell us, tell me a little bit about, you know, what were you doing before you got into real estate? And then we'll make that transition of like, why real estate? But first, what yeah. were you doing before? Yeah, for sure. So um, the job that I had before real estate was uh, door to door. I did door to door sales for about six, seven years. Uh, I would go to, uh, I ran teams at first. I was, I just started as a door to door guy. You know, I heard, I went to college and in the college I went to at BYU, Idaho, it was very, it was a big deal. Like to, uh, you know, a lot of people that made good money would go sell products door to door, whether that's solar, um, pest control dish networks at like cable services, whatever it was, you know? So I got, um, I chose Dish Network because at the time it was, uh, you know, I, I don't know how it's important. It's a hot satellite. commodity. Yeah, right now satellite yeah. TV, not so much. But yeah. um, so I went on there and um, yeah, I was just uh, selling door to door and I did it for about a year straight. Um, my first, well, did, it's not even a year, right? Because you go out, the, the, the appeal to it is you go and do it for a couple months. And after you do it for, uh, you know, two or three months while you're not in school, you make enough money for the whole year. So my first year I did, like, I ran out for three months as a brand new rep made about $16,000. And I thought I was like on top of the world. I'm like, this is the greatest thing ever. And I, uh, so I sold and then I came back the next summer, built up a team. And ever since then I would build up teams, go sell and you make overrides. So if you have about 20 people that go sell with you, you make a commission off of their sales. So I did that, did really well. And then uh, I got married and I was tired of moving every summer to, you know, for three or four months to go sell somewhere. So I called up my buddy that I went to college with and his dad and him had been wholesaling and doing lease options. And he, and during college was approached me about it, but I, I didn't, I was already making good money. Yeah, so yeah, I didn't yeah. think about it, but I said, Hey man, I'm tired of moving and real estate's the play. You know, that's where you can make a lot of money. So let's, let's give it a shot. So with zero knowledge of real estate, I just jumped right in feet first, didn't know anything about it, how to get deals. And we just figured it out from there. Awesome. And how long have you been in real estate investing? And are you specifically just wholesaling? No. So I started off just specifically as a wholesaler. Cause that's what the trajectory where most people start. They just start cause they're, they're low on funds or they don't know how to start. Um, but no, I don't just wholesale anymore. I do fix and flip. We wholetail, we do creative financing. Uh, we pretty much do every extra, extra strategy that makes sense. Like we have some rentals, um, you know, we're trying to get into some multifamily. So that, I think that's the natural progression. You want to get into real estate. Most people start wholesaling or they get their license and then they, you know, start right. keeping stuff or selling stuff. Yeah. How long has it been? Four years. Yeah. Four years. Wow. Yeah. And so tell us a little bit about your real estate empire and where you're at now with what your empire. Huh? Yeah. Um, where we're at right now is I, uh, you know, things always change and it's crazy. Like I'm not going to, you know, a couple months ago, I was, uh, I was just completely over investor thrive, my coaching business, you know, and I was, you know, working in that. Right. And now things have shifted a little bit in the market and our, our, our company, you know, um, getting deals isn't as easy as it used was like a couple months ago um, for some reason, because I think prices have dropped and sellers still want the ridiculous price. So I, I said to my company, I was like, hey, look, I'm fine doing stuff over investor drive, but I actually... I would love to come back in and, and close some deals and help the company out. So we still have sales guys, but I'm coming in. Um, I'm closing a lot of the deals. And uh, so that's kind of what it looks like. You it, really uh, like the sales side of things. Yeah, so. I, li I like the sales yeah. side. And that's um, so that's kind of what the company looks like. Like two or three months ago, my business partner was running the wholesaling business. I wasn't, you know, too involved with that other than I knew I know how to do it. And I was teaching people. Now it's like, hey the, we still have the coaching business, but I'm really involved in, in, in closing. So I'm, I'm taking that knowledge and even helping people even more. I think, I think it's like a direct, it helps both businesses. I'm going to make more money because I can close more deals for the company. And 
I can be relevant, even more relevant because I know, you know, what's going on with the market. And would you say that you have a specific niche you like to help people in? Um, yeah, I mean, I, it, the niche would be distressed properties, right? Like people that have a property that needs, needs a little bit of work. Cause it, it, if it's a house that's perfect in condition, like, yeah, you can do subject to, you can, you get creative with it, but we mainly work with people that need to sell their home for cash. Are you a Pace Morby student? I'm not a Pace Morby student, but okay. I know of, of him. I'm, I'm a Jerry Norton student. I'm a, you know, I've done Sean Terry. Um, I have, I've done a lot of coaching and I think coaching is great. I think you, you, yeah. you need to get in the, in the, in the room with people that are better than you and learn from them. And that's how I've learned and grown. Yeah. So besides the real estate investing, are you doing any, are you offering some kind of a coaching program, you and your partner, or are you mostly just focused on the investing side of things. Yeah. So we have whole, our, our business is called offer on homes. That's our wholesaling investing business. And that's, that's what, where we get our deals. And then investor thrive is my coaching business okay. where I base is we have a mentorship, a mastermind mentorship where people can come in and we show them exactly how to generate leads, how to close deals. And I mean, depending on what they need, I mean, we can, we can um, tailor the program to, you know, their specific uh, need, but that's kind of like what we focus on is like, we're going to help you get a deal or, or if you can get, if you get deals consistent, inconsistently, we'll, let's get you consistent. Okay. Awesome. So what else, what else do you want people to know about you? Anything interesting? It doesn't even have to be real estate related. You know, what do I want people to know about me? I'm a nice guy. Um, <laughs> <laughs> How old are you? I'm 31. So you're young. You got into the game young. Good. I, I, I think so. I mean, I, yeah. I think I'm young, but then I see, see these like 20, 19 year olds coming in. I'm like, I know I'm if only, can you imagine <laughs> Had you gotten to this at 19 or 20? Wow. I couldn't, I couldn't imagine. I was, I, I really respect the young, young, young people. Cause I'm like, when I was 19, 20, I was, you know, I was actually on a mission. Enough, right? I, wasn't focused. I was actually on a mission for my church when I was 19 and 20 years old. So not a lot of people did that. But after that, I was just in college, just trying to have fun with friends. And I wasn't really thinking too much of work. So the fact that these guys go in there and they do that, it's impressive to me, you know? Yeah. Yeah. But um, cool. anything I'd like people to know about me, not my, my, where I'm at and I want people to know is like, I actually, I really genuinely care about people's success. Like uh, I'm not there. Nobody's like a paycheck or something to me. Like I don't want, um, I want to help people. So I'm, that's right. why I'm in doing the, I give away a lot of stuff for free to help people get into real estate investing. And I want them to work with me if they feel like I'm the right fit. And if they like who I, I'm, they want to work with me, that's about it. I'm not oh. trying to pressure sell anybody. It's just like, Hey, you like me, you, you like how I talk and like how I am. Let's, let's work together. If not yeah, energetically, but, personality wise. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so if you had a message, you would, you could shout from the rooftops and people would really listen and hear and heed that message. And, do something, what would your advice be to people? I think people come into this business and they don't understand the amount of action it requires to get a deal and be consistent. I think they, they see the videos, they see the, you know, the flash or whatever people trying to, I mean, I do it too. Everybody does it. They show the results, right? They, they, so they think the results are easy and these results don't come without consistent, right imperfect action. So my, my, what I'd shout from the rooftops is like what I'm here to provide and, and give to the marketplace is I'm, I want to help people know the amount of cons consistent action it takes, how, what to do and how to do it. Like that's, that's what I'm providing in, in our mastermind mentorship is like how to do those things. So you don't have to try and figure it out yourself and waste a lot of money. Cause when yeah. I first started, I sent out mailers, I'd spend $10,000 on mailers, get 10 phone calls, not close any of them. I, I'd waste money and time, you know, Yeah. But that's, that's why you need a mentor, whether it's me yeah. or you or someone else, you need someone right. to tell them so you don't waste all your time. Yeah. I absolutely agree with you 100%. And I think the people that are making it the top 5% and they're crushing it have drilled down on their marketing and refined it and made a commitment to it and developed habits and routines around it and processes and systems and automated it as much. And they just are consistent on those revenue generating activities. That's it. That's what it is. Yeah. Well, I appreciate you 
coming on and, and being a guest yeah. and, and sharing uh, your energy. You've got great energy, well, Nathan. I appreciate that. You know, I try, I try to be energetic, you know, not, and that's the thing too, is like mindset is huge for me because not every day is going to go well. So you need to be able to have a routine or a process, even in your personal life where you can get to work and you can get, get you know. And you can be resilient stuff. in your mindset and bounce back and persevere and not make it mean something about you or um, let it ruin yeah. your whole day. It's just like, oh, well. That, yeah, that seller's having a bad day. That doesn't need to impact me. Right. Like, a lot of stuff going on in our business that's, you know, like, for example, one, one of our tenants, we bought a property and the seller doesn't want to leave the house. And we, you know, we were prepared for that, but it's annoying. It's frustrating, but I'm not going to yeah. let that affect my life. Like, okay, you know, he right. let him stay to a just a problem to solve. And people really need to know this is a problem solving business. And that's what you're getting paid to do it. There are no perfect deals. Things don't mm -hmm. always go smoothly. You've got to be prepared for that. And that way it doesn't throw, throw you off. Exactly. And that's where, that's what I want people to know is just, you know, if you're going to get into this game, be ready for a roller coaster ride. Cause it's whether it's deals being consistent or it's sellers being inconsistent or buyers, like there's always some, so you got to be mentally prepared. That's, that's all I Absolutely. wanted to say. Yeah. Well, I appreciate you taking the time to jump on the podcast with me, Nathan. Yeah. Uh, and if you're watching this and you're, you're in another real estate investment group. Um, please feel free to join my Facebook group. It's the Unstoppable Real Estate Investor. And we'd love to have you. And Nathan, are you running a real estate group as well? Yeah. So mine is called the Wholesaling Real Estate Mastermind. Uh, it's, it's a free, it's a mastermind group you can join and, and network with other people. And also learn lead gen and uh, how to lock up deals with that through acquisition and mastering acquisitions. And, and I want to give away something for free to any of the, the viewers that are watching on, on investorthrive.com. So Investor Thrive, my business, just investorthrive.com. I'm giving away a free course on how to learn how to make offers to sellers and what to offer them. So it's free. I want you to take action. And that's All right. So when, when I post this, go in my group, The Unstoppable Real Estate Investor, and add in the first comment all the links to things for people oh, for sure. that way. Yeah. And feel free to post stuff in my group and, and, you know, be a regular contributor of my group. I know you've got your group too. I'd like Thank to you. hope to see you around. Thanks so much for taking the time, Nathan. Hey, Appreciate it was a pleasure. You. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Yeah. Hold on a sec. I'll turn the recording off. Mm-hmm.